Good day, my name is Richard and a warm welcome to Tutoring with Richard where we cover native topics. This YouTube channel is not monetized which means we do not get any income from YouTube. Help us to create more and even better content that will help you to pass. Consider supporting me by making a donation, any amount is welcome. Links to how to donate to the channel are in the description box below. Today we're going to cover Strength of Materials N6. The topic of this tutorial is tension in cables supports of the same height. The questions included in the video, the beginning and end screens. We have been asked to issue a cautionary note. When doing these questions, please use the method I'm going to show you, as this is the method that is marked correct. Using your own method to answer questions could cost you marks, even though your method and answer might be right. See the cautionary note at the beginning of the video. On a side note, watch until the end of the video. If you watch only the first five minutes, you will not gain a full understanding of what you need to do. There is no quick fix in strength of materials. It takes persistence, discipline and repetition. You have to use these steps in order to succeed. Let's get straight into it. Our first question states, A cable suspended between two supports on the same level. The length of the cable is 284 meters and the sag in the cable between the supports is 30 meters. The weight of the cable is 25 newtons per meter. So, Let's put our knowns on the right hand side. The length of the cable is 284. Now length 1 will be 142 meters and meters. D, which is our depth or sag, is 30 meters. And weight 25 newtons per meter. First things first. We first need YB equals YO plus 30. Now, I'm going to draw you a small picture of what I'm talking about. Here's our cable, at pretty much at the same length, right? From the lowest point, so from there to the ground is YO. Now, to get to the top, now this, to get down from there, from there, is 30. That's 30 meters. So YB is YO plus 30 at this point in time. So what we need to do is say YB squared is equal to YO squared plus L1 squared. Because what happens is this is working in a triangle. So all our this is a Pythagorean triangle. So YB is one side. That's your hypotenuse. So YB. And this is YO. And that's L1. So it's working in a triangle. So next step. is now we take YB, so it's YO plus 30, all of that, all of that squared equals YO squared plus L1 squared. Now, what we're going to do, let's say YO squared plus 60 YO plus 900 equals YO squared plus L1 squared. Now YO squared and YO squared cancel off and we are left with 60 YO equals L1 which is 142, so 
one four two squared minus nine hundred divided by sixty gives us y o. And our y o is three two one comma one meters. That is extremely important and we will need it in the coming steps. Y O equals three two one comma one. Now Y B Y B equals three five one comma one. So next step. All we're doing so far is just working out our components. Now that we've worked out our components, we're working out our maximum tension in the cable. Well, our maximum tension in the cable is F max equals W Y B. So that equals 25 times 3, 5, 1, comma 1. And that equals 8,778 kilo newtons. Now the minimum tension in the cable. Minimum tension, F min, this is 2, that's 1. Minimum is weight times YO. Twenty-five, twenty-five times three uh, five. It's two one comma one equals eight comma o three kilonewtons. Now uh, we've worked out the maximum and minimum. Now next step number three. Looking for the maximum stress in the cable. If the mean diameter is 80 millimeters, so stress max equals force over area. So we got force 8,78 times 10 to the 3. Now area. Area equals pi d squared over 4. So what we do is we bring the 4 up top and then that's pi times 0, 0,08 squared. Equals 1,7 seven mega pascals. Once you've stuck it all in the calculator. That's number three. Okay, now we're getting into number four. They want the angle. So if this is a straight plane, what angle is this over there? They want that angle. So, how to do that, it is cos yo over yb. So, what we're going to do is say cos theta equals yo over y b. So cos to the minus 1 y o over y b. So cos to the minus 1, cos to the minus 1 times 3, 2, 1, comma 1 over 3, 5, 1, comma 1. equals 23,86 
degrees. That is how far it goes. Next and last question is number five. They want to know the horizontal length. They would like to know the horizontal length, the distance between the supports. So they want to know the horizontal distance. So they want x, which extends from there all the way to there. They want to know the horizontal distance between the supports. Not how long the cable is, or else that would be easier. Then you would say it's 284. But no, they want the distance between the supports because what happens is the cable also sags. So there's obviously more cable. If it was taut, it would be a certain length. But it's not taut. So we need to take that into account. Now it is. Now our... Now we're going to do half, x1 plus x2, x1, x2, right? So x1, 3, 2, 1, comma 1, lin, now this is 3, 5, 1, comma 1, plus 1, 4, 2, over 3, 2, 1, comma, 1. And that is our formula. So our formula states that, now this is going to be 1, 3, 7, comma, 7, 3, 9 meters. That is exactly half. So we take this, 1, 3, 7, comma, 7, 3, 9, and times it by 2, we get 2, 7, 5, comma, 4, 7, 8 meters. And that's x1 plus x2. And that is finally done. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. Positive feedback is most welcome. If you would like to help us to make more videos like this, consider supporting me via donation. Any amount is welcome. Links in the description box below. Be at peace, be kind to each other, and remember, passing well is achievable. Have a great day. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.